right, in this video, we'll be introducing an environmental ethic called the land ethic. This philosophy was developed by a forester named Aldo Leopold, who many consider to be the father of wildlife ecology. Before Leopold, forestry was mainly concerned with serving human interests. As a young forester, Leopold himself subscribed to this philosophy. But later on, a deeply moving experience that he had changed his view. He describes this experience in a book, A Sand County Almanac. So he and some other foresters were eating lunch on a rim rock when all of a sudden they saw a wolf and her pups crossing the river below. When the wolves reached the shore, the foresters began shooting them down. Leopold describes what happened next. This is what he says in his book. He says, We reached the old wolf in time to watch a fierce green fire dying in her eyes. I realized then and have known ever since that there was something new to me in those eyes, something known only to her and to the mountain. I was young then and full of trigger itch. I thought that because fewer wolves meant more deer, that no wolves would mean a hunter's paradise. But after seeing the green fire die, I sensed that neither the wolf nor the mountain agreed with such a view. This experience led Leopold to rethink the role of the forester. He thought that he and other foresters should start focusing on the interests of ecosystems rather than just human interests. Later, he went on to develop what he called the land ethic as a way to understand our ethical relationship with nature. Many philosophers doing environmental ethics take either an individualistic approach or a holistic approach. Those who take an individualistic approach regard the main unit of moral consideration to be individual beings. So, for example, they may ask how we should treat individual animals in the wild, or whether we should help individual animals, or how we should raise them for food. But the land ethic takes a different approach. It's holistic. So rather than focusing on how we should treat individual beings, the land ethic focuses on how we should morally consider biotic communities or entire ecosystems. Entire ecosystems themselves have intrinsic moral worth, according to the land ethic. When Leopold saw the green fire die in the wolf's eyes, he realized that without wolves, there would be too many deer. And this would cause the entire ecosystem to suffer. Everything is interconnected. So we must consider the effects of our actions on entire ecosystems. So the land ethic is an ecocentric philosophy rather than an anthropocentric philosophy. Now the central guiding principle of Leopold's land ethic is this. A thing is right when it tends to preserve the integrity, stability, and beauty of the biotic community. It is wrong when it tends otherwise. But why exactly did Leopold claim this? What is the basis of this philosophy? Well, first, he thought that morality functions to make us cooperate. So morality is about how we should act as members of a community. History and science show us that humans are members of the biotic community, the land. This is because ecosystems have a tremendous effect on how we live. We are an integral part of this community. So for Leopold, this community, the biotic community, should be regarded as a moral community. This is part of our trajectory of expanding the scope of the moral community so that it includes more and more beings. Since we can regard our relationship with the land as a moral relationship, and since this is necessary for ecosystems to survive and thrive, then we should act as good, responsible members of the biotic community. Now, being a good member of any community involves treating it well, not dis destroying it, not disrupting it. And this recommends that we embrace Leopold's ethical principle. Namely, that we should preserve the integrity, stability, and beauty of the biotic community. Now, in another video, I talk about deep ecology. The land ethic is similar to deep ecology in that they're both ecocentric approaches. That is, they both focus on the value of whole biotic communities rather than the value of individual members of those communities. But unlike the land ethic, deep ecology also examines the metaphysical relationship that humans have with nature, and it calls for a radical change in how we understand that relationship. So deep ecology goes further and deeper than the land ethic. Deep ecology has a metaphysical or ontological basis. The land ethic does not. So to sum up this video, uh, we started by introducing Aldo Leopold's land ethic. We saw how this is an ecocentric and holistic theory, and that it recommends that we strive to preserve the integrity, stability, and beauty of the biotic community. Thanks for watching.